welcome to our humble abode, the Kenny vs. Spenny house. This, my good friends and fellow bloggers, is the living room. Where not only living happens, but other dirty things I'm not allowed to say. Uh, this is the famous Kenny vs. Spenny couch where we do all of our openings to our competitions. Spenny's already gone through it for change, so I would uh, advise it. Of course, all of our furniture is extremely crap because uh, that's just the way we fly. Tell her, Spenny. <laughs> MTV Cribs! Spenny, we're on Cribs! Yes! What's going on? Uh, Spenny doesn't watch MTV, doesn't like MTV. He basically watches Al Jazeera Penny? and uh, Little Boys Take Showers. Penny? So uh, let's go into the kitchen. Of course, this place is a uh, friggin' mess. This is uh, a huge this, this, this butcher is knife I threaten him with when, you know, he does my laundry wrong or just, you know, becomes bitchy, which he usually is. Uh, Spencer, come say hi to our friends. Candy, can I talk to you for a sec, please? Okay, this is Spencer Rice. Can introduce yourself. I want to just have a little private talk. <laughs> it's too late. I know, it's all right. It's whatever. No, it's famous, whatever. man. We're famous. See, this is what happens when you're famous. You got cribs coming to the house. You got, like, super hot models coming to the house. You got people of ethnic persuasions. And, uh, you got... I was never notified. About what? Oh, the fridge. You know what? I watch Cribs. I know Cribs. And I am going to show you our fridge. I don't think you guys can handle what's in our fridge. Spenny likes it when, like, little kids come to the house. So he's got all this ice cream and stuff for them. No, no, no. And, uh... Kenny, Kenny, f*** I can't swear. Whatever. It's on TV. And Spenny, I wasn't notified about any of this. Spenny likes giving Has little... she been telling lies about me? Spenny likes time. giving little kids... Has he been telling lies about me the whole time? I haven't even started. This show is what you just walk around the house. It's called what? Cribs. It's called Cribs. Being what? That's like rap talk. Yeah. Okay. So uh, this is my floor. Rap talk. Well, this is where I come up with concepts for the show. Work right, on... He will eventually lose because he's a total loser and he sucks. <laughs> and both can get out. And you know this is really exciting for your viewers. I sit here. Uh, and I do my work, and I, I input Quicken, and everybody should use, uh, well, Quicken's a brand name, but, you know, you should input and, and know how much money you're spending and on what, because I think it's very important. Uh, then we're in here, what, oh, Kenny. <laughs> He's done this so many times. I have never. I can't even believe it. Like a blow up, a blow up, up sex doll fetish. Oh, you dumb! Oh my God, Spencer! Thank you. Gra that's his grandpa. You're gonna wash my. You're gonna wash my sheets. I don't know if you can show that. His None of this stuff is mine. In the bed. When did you do all this? I was like gone for half an hour. It is a uh, obviously the rainbow flag. I have nothing against it. It just it has no really relevance in my life. You know what? I'm actually annoyed. All right, come on, guys. Let's go upstairs and check out Casa del Hotzio, oh, man. Go, go, go ahead. Come yeah, on, yeah. Come into my room. These are my renter friends. I rented them for the day. Uh, unfortunately, when you're a TV personality, you've got a bunch of stoner losers hanging out in your house. All right, this is Pilgore the Conqueror. This is what you need for Pilgore the Conqueror. The world's largest Zippo, man. Uh, these are some of the things that we found in Spencer's underwear over the years. Um, you know, most of these are, I don't know. I don't even know what they are. Okay, um, this is my bed. This is where most of the magic happens. Right now, it uh, kind of has the consistency of a Rice Krispie square. What can I say? I am a virile and effervescent individual. 
All right, that gate isn't for uh, stopping people from getting in. It's for stopping girls from getting out. It's kind of like the Phil Spector house. Uh, anyways, here we are on the patio, but I like to call it the patio because it is fat, man. I got a wicked view of the city. There's trees, or at least I think that's what they're called, and people can't see me Sunday new. This is how I call Spenny. He is extremely well trained. It took about three months to get him to answer me this call. Spenny! Spenny! Can I say something about your program? Uh, that two people live in this house, and that if you're going to come over, you should tell both people that they're. Don't do that. All right. We'll see everybody later. How long is the segment? Too long. Keep away from Audrey. Stay tuned.